Hello everyone, I really hope that you're doing very well and welcome back to a new video. Excuse my still a little bit scratchy voice. I'm not myself yet completely, but I'm getting there. I wanted to play with some makeup today and I thought it would be a nice idea to do a full face of very affordable drugstore makeup. I'm a makeup junkie and I spent a lot of my money on makeup. It's one of my biggest hobbies as you guys know and I do love a high-end makeup brand but I also acknowledge that there are a lot of people who just can't afford very expensive makeup products or who just don't want to spend a lot of their money on their everyday products. By the way I am also a person who doesn't have the money to buy expensive products but you know sometimes you just give in to the addiction. Also on a little side note today is the gloomiest day ever. It's literally still August. I am wearing a long sleeve top. It's it's raining outside so let's clip back my little bangs okay let me zoom you guys in a little bit and let's get started I feel like the lighting is gonna suck so badly in this video I'm so so sorry about that but you're guys gonna have to bear with me because I am doing the best that I can so before I get started I want to give a little disclaimer because I have included the brand she clam in this video I know that she in is a website and it's not really a drugstore but it is very affordable makeup so I do think that it kind of is in the same category as drugstore makeup brand. I already did my skincare routine and I'm gonna start off with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. You guys know I really like this primer but I'm mostly using this because I don't really have any other primers in my collection right now. I'm still waiting for the e.l.f. Hydro Grip Primer to be back in stock. And I actually did order it a few weeks ago, then they said it was on the way. And then just before they were supposed to deliver it, I got a message that they had some troubles delivering to my new address. So it was sent back. And when I wanted to repurchase it, it was out of stock. So let's just say the universe was not on my side with that one. But I'm just gonna wait patiently until it's back in stock again. Okay, next up, I'm gonna try a new product that I have recently purchased and I've not tried before. This is the Catrice New Drop Tip. Tinted Serum Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid and Vitamin E. You guys know I'm always looking for a good natural foundation option. I don't really like to use very heavy foundations anymore. I always go for a dewy, glowy, tinted serum kind of vibe. Oh, by the way, I got this in the shade W20. Let's give it a little shake. So it has a little droplet applicator. <gasps> I just dropped it all over my chair. Let's just be careful. It has a little bit of an alcohol scent. Is there a lot of alcohol in this? Because my skin is not going to like that. It says it's alcohol free, so I don't really know where that smell is coming from. But I actually really like that. It's not too mattifying and it's, it, it's sort of giving my skin but better vibes. Let's try to blend the other side with a little Real Techniques brush. Usually I don't really like the finish that a brush gives with foundation. It does actually give a lot more coverage with a brush, but we were expecting that. That's probably always the case. And I do have to say that when you're dragging it onto your face, it's really streaky and really stripy. And that's something that I hate with tinted serums. But when you actually, you know, let it sit for a minute and then go back with your brush and buff it in, it actually gives such a nice finish. I am gonna drag it down to my neck just the tiniest bit because the color match is actually really, really good. It's just a tiny bit yellow. Let's move on to concealer. I am going to use a little bit of the Maybelline New York Fit Me Concealer in the shade 6. And then I'm also going in with a little bit of the Catrice True Skin High Coverage Concealer in the shade 10 Cool Cashmere. Just to make that diffuse a little bit better into the foundation that we have going on right now. Thank you. 
Okay, then I'm going in with this Chic Lamp palette, which is the Nude Stereo Face 6 Face palette. It's just got all these little face powders and I am actually going in with a little mix of these two for under my eyes. And I'm just lightly going to feather that under my eyes. Then for a little bit of contour and bronzer, I'm going to use the She Glam Liquid Contour. I swear this lighting is literally killing me. One second I light up like a disco ball and the other second I'm just shadowy and dark. Then for blush I'm going to take the Kiko Milano Fruit Explosion Juicy Blush. I don't really use this a lot but it's actually really pretty. Also I don't really know if Kiko is considered a drugstore makeup brand but I find it very affordable. So I'm just gonna place a little bit of this on the back of my hand because it is so pigmented. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit more. I love myself some blush. So I'm going back into that Catrice True Skin uh, concealer for a minute just to clean up under my cheeks. I don't really do this a lot but for some reason, I made it a little bit messy today. Then I'm gonna set the rest of my face with this very affordable Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. I used to use this when I was like 14 years old and I still think it's a very nice affordable powder. It's just not really my favorite. I will always, always prefer the Charlotte Silbury powder. Then for highlighter, I'm gonna use the She Glam Moon side highlighter yeah the moon side highlighter it's probably not really gonna match my face right now but it does give a really really pretty sheen okay i just did my brows off camera really quick with the catrice cosmetics slimatic ultra precise brow pencil in the shade ash blonde i used to get this brow pencil all the time in the shade dark brown but i don't know lately i kind of prefer more of a natural eyebrow look and since my hair is so light i don't really like to have like deep deep dark eyebrows anymore okay so i'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit more and we're gonna get started on the eyes so for my eyes i'm going into the when in rome she glam eyeshadow palette i'm not really the biggest fan of how they blend together like some of the shades blend really well and then some of them are a little bit patchy. We're gonna give it another try today. I don't really reach for this palette a lot. I much much prefer my Morphe palettes, my Too Faced palettes, my Juvia's Place palettes, but you know all those palettes are high-end and in today's video we're gonna use this one. So we're gonna start with a very neutral little bit of a lighter shade all over the lid. Trevi Fountain? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's this one. I do have to say that they're very pigmented, so they do have a lot of color payoff, which is nice. But I can already see that it's a little bit hard to really blend one color into your entire eyelid. When I place it on the inner side of my eyes, it's just very hard to drag it onto the other side. I'm gonna be a little bit bold today and choose a burnt orange color, which I never ever do. I'm gonna go with this one, which is called Wishmaker. I just dipped in once and look at how much pigment there is on this eyeshadow brush that is amazing but also very terrifying i am gonna brush it off on my hand a little bit because i just want to build my colors i don't want to get too much payoff that i cannot fix it anymore okay this is the point where i tell myself to trust the process I don't know, I just don't find them blendable. I think they are powdery, I think they're quite dry. They are very pigmented, but that's all it is. It's just pigment that you smudge onto your eyes and you can't really move anymore. I don't know how I'm gonna fix this, guys. I'm gonna go into this brown shade, which is called Caesar's Rule. It's just a mess. 
Okay, I'm gonna drag the rest of that shade that I still have on my brush to my lower lash line. I'm kind of debating whether I should leave it like this and call it a day or just try to fix it with <laughs> smashing a lot of glitter on top of it. You know what, we're just gonna try it. I'm going into this middle shimmer which is called Lover's Kiss. Okay, that's actually quite pretty and it didn't make it worse, so <laughs> we're just gonna go with it. I'm also gonna put some of that in my inner corner. And I think that's just it for the eyeshadow. I'm not gonna try to ruin it any further. One thing is very clear to me, I don't think I'm gonna be using this eyeshadow palette again. Okay, I'm just gonna try to make it look a little bit more presentable with some eyeliner. So I got my favorite Kiko eyeliner pencil. I already like that so much better. I just don't really feel like myself when I'm not wearing a little brown wing. I'm also gonna put a little bit of that on my lower waterline. Then to finish off the eye look for mascara, I am using the Maybelline New York Sky High Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras out there, not only for drugstore, but just in general, one of the best mascaras. When I haven't used this stuff in a while, I always forget how amazing it is. So then for my lips, I'm going into the Catrice Plumping Lip Liner in the shade Underestimated... Underestimated? Understated Chic. This is also one of my favorite lip liners out there. I love the shade, it's perfect for my skin tone. The only downside is because it's so buttery, you run out of it so, so fast. I have to repurchase this like every single month. That is my perfect nude lip liner. I'm gonna fill in my lips with this as well because I'm not really feeling a lipstick today. I'm feeling a very subtle nude lip liner with some lip gloss. This is the Maybelline New York Lifter Gloss. I see it all over the internet. It is so, so popular and I understand why people love it so much. I got it in the shade Moon, which is the perfect shimmery everyday gloss for me. A lot of people say that this gloss is a dupe for the Fenty Beauty lip glosses. I wouldn't say that it is a exact dupe because I do think that they're very different. They feel very different, they smell very different, but quality wise they are definitely at the same level. So the only drugstore product that I don't have in my collection at the moment is a setting spray. I am looking to purchase a e.l.f. setting spray very soon, but again it's out of stock. But that's okay, I'll be patient a little while longer. So for now in this video I'm gonna have to use my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. As you can see, I almost finished it and I'm so so sad because it's so expensive and I don't want to buy another one but this is one of my favorites of all time. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope that I give you maybe some inspiration to try some of these products yourself. As you could tell, not all of these products were my favorite to use on a daily basis, but I did really enjoy, you know, playing around with some of the products that I don't really get to use that often because I always tend to go for more high-end options. This video made me realize that I maybe really should choose some of these products a little bit more in my daily routine. Things like the Kiko blush. I really like that one. This one blew me away as you guys know. I didn't try it before but it was really really good and I will definitely be using it again and I really need to stock up on these because like I said it's one of my favorite mascaras of all time. If you guys enjoyed this video then please leave a like down below. And while you're at it subscribe to my channel. It is completely free and I would love for you to join my little YouTube family. I want to thank you so so much for watching and I would love to see you in the next video. Bye.